Ladies and gentlemen, Night of Destruction number two and Destruction event number three of 2015, the low budget season three is in full swing, Tommy. We just got done with the enduro race, tore up a couple cars in that one. Just got done with the late model race that just concluded and now that was a little bit of a break to kind of gather yep. ourselves up. Now it's time for the skid plate race. Now we didn't necessarily need a break because we obviously don't run the same vehicles in every event. Right. However, that was a nice break needed because we've been swamped and swarming on all these cars. We have getting been. them ready. So the water break, get to just relax, set up some cameras and stuff like that. But now we're heading into the skid plate race. And the great unknown, I'm going to be driving my normal skid plate car that you see the yellow, I'm sorry, yellow, white, and blue yeah. 96. Um, you're going to be driving your normal skid plate car. Now with that, uh, we're going to see this track for me, I'm not excited for it. I love the crazier tracks, and I love how uh, how many cars we've got, 25 of them, right. um, out here on this track. But the reason why I'm not too excited about this track, I really am excited, just my car is not, because my car does not do tight tracks. Yeah. You, on the other hand, seems like that car of yours loves these tracks. It's interesting, Tommy, because as, the, as this car progresses in life, it seems like it gets better and better. You and learn more too. Yeah, yeah, and this car I've noticed has really good pickup on exit of the corners. So that's something I'm gonna try to utilize in this race. We have 25 cars out there. We know we're gonna probably be starting near the back end of them. And uh, the bigger thing that we're gonna really wanna keep an eye on, like we've always talked about going into these races, are the pace laps at the beginning. Yeah. Sometimes these pace cars don't like to stop, and when they don't do that, guys are spinning out, and yep. I think I think for this race, we're just gonna say, screw it. I think we've been doing that for a while now. Yeah, so. it sounds like us. But as far as the skid plate race goes, I think I'm excited about this track. I've had some good runs on this uh, on this road course. Nothing, nothing spectacular, but I'm feeling good about this race. Uh, we know that we have some fast cars starting in the back with us as well. So it's really just a matter of, I guess, keeping it clean, kind of like in the Enduro. I'm gonna do my best to keep those uh, that car from not spinning, mm -hmm. but I'm also gonna do my best to get all, or to get a lot of spots early because I know we're starting in the back. Try to get by a lot of the cars that have already spun out in front of me. Right. I'm just hoping I'm not one of the spinners. There you go. Well, next up, folks, the skid play race is on tap for a lot of excitement. We're starting in the back. Here we go. Here we go. Race number two of the night. Skid play racing. See if we can keep this car in one piece, and we're getting ready to go racing. Everybody's lined up except for me.
very good run again in the little car. Next up, Demolition Derby. Skid play race is done, and good. I'd say that went a little bit better than the Enduro. I would say so myself. Good job, top top six. Thank, yeah, no, it uh, was an absolutely fun race. Sixth place for you me. You were busy. You were out there running up front the entire time. Well, not the entire time. Yeah. You had to make your way through the field. And then that's when you got yeah, busy. Yeah, and folks, it's been a while since I've got myself up in contention for that kind of position. So I was really hoping to get a top five in this one. The race went really well for me uh, as far as kind of keeping it out of trouble. Really good battles I had with a couple drivers out there. The Zero Two Machine, Tony Cummings, he and I, just a lot of side-by-side -side yeah. action. As well as a couple other cars that, that we just, I kept, I felt like we kept racing through lap traffic. I had a ton of fun in this race. Just an absolute blast, but I'm still kicking myself. Because yeah. right when that white flag came out, I was in position, Tommy. I was yep. in position for a top four, and I spun out coming out of the last corner. What happened? Nerves or excitement? Or I, I, I think I just, it had to have been excitement. I think yeah. I just went, this is going great. And and really, in, I mean, in reality, all I had to do was just kind of baby it out of that corner. I had, didn't have to do anything crazier than I'd done all race, yeah. but I pushed it a little bit harder, and it bit me. I ended up losing two positions finishing in the sixth spot but it was like I said it was a great race that actually shows how competitive the skid plate class is becoming because yeah. if you lose two spots in one spin mm -hmm. you know there's that time and that's on the last of, lap yeah, yeah exactly no so it was everybody was there all together yeah it was it was a really fun race from my end uh, I really enjoyed it had a lot of fun out there and again I felt like I learned more about this race car this uh, that's right I called it a race car that's right but yeah this skid plate car it might it might look beat up and it is but uh, it's it, still it's, shiny on the hood. It's still shiny under the hood, and under. it's still shiny with the suspension. It's yeah. still it's still doing everything it needs to do. So, from my perspective, a good race. What about you? For me, like I said, I was gonna try to survive and keep it from spinning. I could not keep it from spinning. So uh, once I, I think I did my hundredth spin, I was like, hey, you know what? I'll just I'll finish the drive in smooth style. You was, and you were doing those long spins. I was doing well after the the one spin. I was like, damn it, and then I was like, oh crap. You know what? Dang. All right, you know what? I'm uh, just going to have fun with this spin yeah, and see yeah. where it takes me. So, yeah, I was I was out there once I once I think, honestly, after my third spin, I knew I was out of contention for anything. And uh, I was like, well, I'll just continue on. Yeah. Now, Tommy, one thing that I noticed in this race for me was uh, as far as it was a lot about lane choice and being yes. in the right spot. Uh, I was able to work my way up into the top ten very quickly in this race, yeah. which surprised me at first. I'm like, oh wow, I'm already catching up to drivers like Robert Rice and whatnot just by picking the right lane. So uh, it just, yeah, you know, no, but everyone wanted to go on the very inside. I'm like, I'm down with driving on the outside. Yeah, yep. It was just a very interesting race, like I said, and it was a lot of fun. Um, where do you end up finishing? I finished 15th to be uh, both. You, if beat, I, you, if beat, I, you beat 10 cars. I beat 10 cars out there. Nice work. Thank you. No, it was, uh, it was good, but Tommy, you know what's next. Time to beat and bang some cars. It's time to crash some cars. I get an old beast. I get to crash here soon. Yeah, you do. Folks, next up is the Demolition Derby.